Episode 1. Here we go. Flashing, strobing light, and scenes flashing light, strobing light, content and effects, visuals with photosensitivity, quality. Sonic X Shadow Generations Dark Beginnings. Okay, here we go. Shadow and Maria. Episode 1. Colony Arc 50 years ago. Shadow! Hurry! Hurry! You have to see this! Oh, it's ha it's a happy, it's a happy hurry. What's wrong? Nothing! Look! I really like her voice it's actor. Lights. It's the Aurora Borealis. You can only see them from certain latitudes down there, but up here, we can see the whole Oh, she's sick. Maria. Thank you. So I just pushed it a little. That's all. The low gravity here only keeps your condition in remission. You should know better than to exert yourself. Remission, that's a that's a good word. I know. You're right. But when it comes to the beauty of the earth, I can't help myself. I can't wait for the day when we can finally return. I was created here. I don't know if there's a place for me on Earth. Oh, because she used to live on Earth, huh? Gerald made me the ultimate life form. I should be the key to all manner of medicines. I'm curing you. You and Grandfather are doing your best. I'm just as happy to spend time with you here while you both research. They're having a really nice moment. There's Emerald. Ah, oh, this shot like so cool. That's really cool. Like that almost like uh, not fortune teller. I'll handle this. Just wait here. I'll be back. I promise. Like fortune teller prophecy. <laughs> Foreshadowing, if you will. That shot with her by herself as the as the screen goes away. So good. I like the sound effects. I really like the colors. That was a pretty, pretty good fight scene right there. No, this isn't right. This is the Guardian Units of Nations. Prepare to be boarded. The soldiers. They storm the Ark. Destroy all evidence. But it's too soon. It's happening too quickly. So he knows? Nightmare? Ooh, Gerald. Oh. Yeah. It's gotta be That's some... Must... It's gotta be a nightmare. He's just... Oh. Well, there you go. Okay. Yeah, just run back. No way. Shadow 05. Right here. That was, that was, that was a good Maria. That oh. was no mere nightmare. Duh, because it said 50 it years in prior. Arc. Blown up moon? 
Let's give it Could he two. have survived? No. That can't be. I need answers. Ooh, I like oh, almost like the flash. It runs in, there's the yellow streak. Wow, that was That was pretty good. It was short, you know? But it was five minutes. Nice short little thing. Intro episodes, the beginning. Nothing too monumental. Um, that's generally what episode two and three are for, is to really pick things up. Episode one... I'm thinking of it as a, like, three-act structure for a movie. So that was just, like, the beginning. And, and really, like, you have your call to action. It's like, oh, he has a nightmare and he has to figure things out. So... I like that. I like that. That was good. That was. That was entertaining. I liked it. <laughs> Sega in their eye. But yeah, no, it was. It was good. I liked it. It. You know, it was basically all flashback. Um, and most of that really was just what we've seen, you know, for the most part, it really was just what we saw um, from like the initial trailer with Shadow fighting Emerald and then having Shadow meet up with Maria and, you know, we didn't get like the beginning portion of that with Maria excitedly, you know, taking Shadow over to see like, space. Um, so... Like that was that was really that was cute. I liked that. Um, and then it basically just led to the emerald the emerald attack, which we saw through the trailer. And then after that, it was the more nightmarey stuff, with Gerald uh, being you know confined, and then we had the very Shadow Five looking portion of it with the red clouds and almost like the monster looking area and then after that yeah I mean it's just shadow waking up um I mean that's really yeah they're really you know and he has a chaos emerald but and then he goes off to try to find answers but I mean that was only like five minutes so not I mean honestly most of that not most but some of that was good amount of that was from the trailer so I don't feel there's like too much to talk about really Shadow and Maria looking at space and then the emerald attack which we actually got to see the full fight which is cool and then we can find and then Shadow getting more uh, nightmare -y, I guess with in the Shadow of Five cutscene and then after that he wakes up and then we get the yellow chaos emerald and then he goes out to find the answers you're not going to get anything too substantial, I feel. I mean, it's a nice introduction, but again, we saw a good chunk of it through the trailer. So, and I like that was basically all we saw. We saw a minute and a half of that episode, which is like 25% of it already. But episode two and three, they're definitely going to have a lot more just because we haven't seen anything from it. So I'm curious to see what that's going to I do know... Rouge and Omega are in the second episode because that was in the thumbnail. We'll see how I'll see how that goes. I'm what they do because here's to see what that'll entail because Rouge and Omega have not really been relevant. <laughs> I mean, heck, Shadow's barely been relevant aside from this year. We'll see how it goes. Uh, finding the way. Oh, that's a nice shot. I really like that. Show that freak. Oh. Stay away from me. Abe. Isn't that the general from Shadow 05? That is, because he has the weird eyes. Shadow? Are you 
this is so nice. Maria, I'm fine. It's just the professor created me using alien DNA. The black arms he called them. The same DNA as this larva. This ugly, heartless creature. I may look like a hedgehog, but I'm really no different than this thing. That's not true. You have a big heart. It may be difficult for you to express it, but I know that deep down you really I'm tearing do up care already. About me. About everyone. What you do is there you what go. defines you. I know you're having a hard time you tell finding him, Maria. answers, but I'm certain you will one day. The, the anime eye closed. It just... Then, you'll find even Funny. more people you can trust. Oh, the pyramid. Sonic Adventure 2? Oh, yep, 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 yep. Eggman's base. Yo, Omega, let's go with Ruth. Yo, she looks so good. Evening, handsome. Didn't expect to see you. I like her voice. Ruth, what are you doing here? I was in SA2 as well. Just gathering some intel for gun. I convinced Omega to be my backup. What's your story? Her voice sounds so good. I need a spacecraft to reach the Ark. I have reason to believe the Black Arms have returned. Well, Kirk Thornton. Here. This is just Sounds so good. Detail. Hold that thought. <laughs> I got dibs. Oh my god. Take it out. Is she gonna drop bombs? Oh, she's just gonna kick it. Let's go. Yo, let's go. Now about this spacecraft, I can take you to a ship, but in return, you're going to have to promise to come to Sonic's Aww. birthday party. It's not a generation. I'll take that as a yes. Now then, interested in raiding a gun base? This is good. No. No way that was it. Are you serious? That was it? How long was that? That was, that was like three minutes. What? That, that was that was that was so short. I mean, it was really good. Like just. Omega. Just be like, I got dibs. And then just Rouge's voice sounds so good. And like the, the, the night, the lighting for a nighttime scene was really well done. The, the light, ow, the lights on the sign was really cool. No way. That was, that was like three minutes. That was like four minutes. Oh my goodness. That, I did not, that did not feel like four minutes i felt like like right when it started is right when it ended like what we got the small little flashback okay okay we we got the small flashback with maria and then okay so we get about a minute of maria and then two minutes of like not even not even two minutes what is that a minute Hold on. So, this is four minutes. So yeah, we got about a minute of Maria flashback, which always appreciated. Always appreciated. Really like it. Um, Maria's voice actor is, is, is really, it's it fits the character. Um, and then, ugh, I said it before, but Kirk Thornton, that man is almost 70 years old. And just, he's finally being able to, like, stretch his voice acting skills with shadow he's barely had any screen time in the sonic series in like the last 10 years i mean 
there was you've got the Sonic and Sonic Generations, and that was it. And then you had Sonic Forces, which eh, he had like, new lines. But then after that, it was just like nothing. <laughs> like you had Sonic Boom, but I don't know if Kirk Thornton was in Sonic Boom. I don't know if that was the same voice actor. But I mean, even then, it's just like one line of Generations, a few lines and Forces, and what? Like that's it. So it's like I'm I'm really happy that he's finally able to like stretch his stretch his wings, so to speak. Well, I guess Shadow does have wings now, but really just just stretch his wings as Shadow and just learn about the character and his backstory. And instead of just, oh, by the way, say these two are lines, you just gotta be a little slightly gruff about it. Okay, cool. And then you're done. But here it's like he's finally getting the backstory of Shadow and who he is as a character. So then he can really immerse himself in his role. I'm so used to Sonic Adventure 2 as well as Sonic 06, and I think a lot of people are. A lot of people relate Shadow's voice to Sonic Adventure 2 or Sonic 06, just because of those are like the two biggest roles he has as a character. There was Sonic Heroes as well as Sonic and the Black Knight, but even then, his biggest roles were Sonic Adventure 2 and 06. A lot of people associate Shadow like with the voice actor. So like Kirk Thornton just has never really gotten a chance to truly voice Shadow and he is here and the more I hear him I feel like the better he gets and the more used to it I am I'm liking it more as I go on but yeah this this was a very short episode let's see how episode three let's see to the arc so they've raided Eggman's base Funded the research that created you, and when they got you, they sealed you away for 50 years. <laughs> Does not sound fair. My point is, don't get too <laughs> caught up on any vendettas tonight. Gun is not my enemy tonight, but they will be another night. Just an obstacle in my way. I, I like her roof. <laughs> <laughs> what the little Omega Collins did was everything. Just go at him. Go at him. Take him out with your Gatling gun. Let's go. Omega, let's go. Shadow just caught a missile. Let's go. Shoot it. I just let go. Let go like a boss. <laughs> He caught it in the air and just smashed it. I like it. Now what's Omega doing? What's Rouge doing? Okay, okay. He's doing his little teleporting. I like it. Yo, let's go. Chaos control. Ooh, I got goosebumps. I got goosebumps. That was... That was a good echo. Appropriate. And he just destroys the machine. He's gonna save him. Yeah. He's Shadow. He's got a good heart. I wanted to destroy it. <laughs> I, li I like Omega's voice. Copy that and initiating launch. To space. <laughs> like he was just sitting in the space shuttle. I mean, yeah. Omega, hurry! You have to take out those guns. No way. The military command. Commander Abraham Abe. Tower. All forces stand down. Oh, they just stopped. And where was he during all of this? Abe, I brought that intel you requested. 
and aided in the destruction of millions in gun assets. Sorry, but Shadow needed some help saving the world. If that's the case, despite all that's passed between us, he saved the world from Black Doom. He should have known I would have supported him if he asked. When yeah. Ever ask He's not gonna ask. He's not gonna ask. Down, Rouge. <laughs> There's only one person who could ever do that. <laughs> <laughs> Sonic? She was lost to us a oh. long time ago. Ooh, that's pretty. Life was taken from me long ago. I need to focus on the mission at hand. A threat lurks aboard the Ark, and I must eliminate it. Go, Shadow. Well, and that's it. So that's leading right into Sonic X Shadow Generations. You know, it's it's nice. It's not mandatory viewing, right? And they're really short. Um, yeah, see, Kirk Thornton. This is a nice little, okay, nice little appetizer before the main course, right? Cool animation. I like it. Good, good little animation. Appetizer for the main course. Sega, your eyeball thing is a little crazy. But, you know, episode three, that was nice. Shadow just trying to get on the space shuttle to reach the Ark. Find questions unanswered. It was nice to see the general again. At least in main series games, I know he hasn't appeared. But I don't know if he's appeared in the comics. I have read all the comics. Slowly making my way through them. Nice to see him again. And nice to see that he's like on decent terms with shadow at least obviously not buddy buddy because shadow's not a buddy buddy type of guy but that was that was good again nice little appetizer to the main course for something like shadow generations comes out in a week seven days october 25th um aside from those who pre-order it who gets three days early except on the switch it is not you do not get three days early on the switch just be aware of that you'll be playing it october 25th but i mean <laughs> it's three days it's not like three weeks early. That would be crazy. It's only three days. So if you, you don't get your three days early, I mean, eh. Honestly, three days will be over like that. So, I mean, not that big of a deal. I really like what Sega's doing, like, with their different projects. To introduce a new character or introduce a plot point or something or a new, um, like, a mini slice of life just to, like, get people's feet wet before jumping into the game like they do with some superstars. I really like the short animations that they have for the games. They did it for Sonic Colors Ultimate, then they did it for Team Sonic Racing. They also had the Knuckles prologue for Sonic Frontiers. I really hope that they continue this because it's just nice to see Sonic characters in 2D animated form because we don't get that. I mean, we had Sonic Boom, which is a 3D animated show, and then we had Sonic Prime, which is a 3D animated show. So it's really nice that they're continuing like the Sonic cd slash mania approach with 2d animation I, I really really appreciate that that they do that because they don't have to do that i love 2d animation so the fact that we get these the fact that we get to see these sonic characters in a 2d animated format it makes me happy sonic the hedgehog series plus 2d animation i'm in i'm happy you know i'm basically in heaven type of thing that was my reaction to sonic x shadow generations dark beginnings episodes one two and three i had a good time sonic team sega shadow generations team keep up the good work hoping this game turns out to be incredible this is my most anticipated sonic game since the original sonic generation so it really is a great time to be a sonic fan and i am really happy for everything that's been happening with shadow this year and there is one week to go this whole year has been so good for sonic so i'm really excited for shadow generations and then once that's out we're gonna be playing that for a couple months and then the movie will be here 
and that'll just add to the shadow of love. Here's to everything just going well and being great.